Hey everyone, it's Jen. Today I'm doing a process video on decorating a dashboard for my traveler's notebook. And this is a Foxy Fix number four, so it's a personal TN. And I'm just going to cut the paper so that it can wrap around my insert. I'm not going to insert it in any uh, dashboard or anything. Um, I'm also going to make a little shaker element to my dashboard. I don't know what else to call it. So. I'm using the April Planner Society kit and I'm just gonna go ahead and fold that in half and round the corners. I love the colors in this month's kit. Um, it goes so well with my cookie. <laughs> um, so now I'm just trimming the paper and I'm going to take my metal die, I think it's Kaiser Craft, it's a Polaroid die. And I'm going to run that through my Big Shot and you don't need two pieces, but I chose to use two pieces. Um, let's see. Okay, so the kit comes with these really adorable cute cards and I'm just going to see which card I wanna use. I'm just going through those and I go, I end up choosing the green one because I like the contrast with the pattern papers. And I love the hummingbird too. Um, so I'm also going to take some craft foam. So I'm gonna glue that down first to that bottom layer. And then I'm going to take some craft foam and cut that with my die cut so that it's the perfect size. And you could use 3M foam tape, but um, I didn't have any in my stash. So I just reached for the craft foam. Um, so now I'm going to layer that and I was going to use the plastic from the stamp set that came in the kit, but I ended up using this embossing window paper that I had in my stash. So if you are interested in signing up for the subscription for the kit or the add-ons, you can go ahead and go to scarletlime.com and sign up anywhere between the 2nd and the 14th of the month and you can get your kit next month. So I'm going to cut that down to size so that it covers over the opening. And I end up putting the glue down and I almost glued down the window before I put the sequins in. That would have been a nightmare. <laughs> um, this glue that I'm using, I usually use um, like a dry glue, like a double side tape, like, um, yeah, just a double sided tape, but when I do shaker cards, but this glue dries clear, so I'm okay with it if it seeps out. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going through my die cuts. I went ahead and I layered the top Polaroid that I cut out and um, now I'm just going to look around in the die cuts and just embellish it around the top. And I like how that looks. I like the little tassels and the little moth. So pretty. I love, I love the patterns in this, um, this month's kit. It's really like bohemian it's kind of got this bohemian anthropology vibe to it um so now i'm just taking some thickers these are from my stash and i believe they're just dear lizzie thickers from like a past they're from a really old um line and just a smile uh you got this so i'm gonna put that in the front of my tn so when i open it up i'll see that and it's really pretty then I'm just gonna take a little puffy heart and I'll just do a little slow-mo shaking effect because that's 
it looks really cool when it's in slow-mo. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And if you have any questions, please leave them below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank you.